Hey everyone, episode 6, let's make his gloves. Add a 16 vertex circle, position and rotate. Extrude, scale, and add edge loops as needed to make this shape. Match it to the reference. Extrude this back loop in and merge at center. Shade smooth. His fingers are kind of weird and overlap. The best way I could think to make them was to make each individual finger and then connect them all together. Add a 10 vertex circle. Rotate 90 degrees on the Y axis and 18 degrees on the X axis. Position and scout to make his fingertip. Hold this bottom vertex down. Do some reshaping. Extrude and scale. Merge these two vertices at center and these two as well. Do some minor adjustments. Extrude again and merge at center. Get everything positioned. Add a mirror modifier. Duplicate and place this fingertip on all the fingertips. Scale is needed. Use the front and back reference to find where these fingertips go on the Z axis. Select and duplicate each back loop and move it into position. Now in side view, shape the loops like so. This part took a lot of practice to get right, since I wanted to make his fingers as true to the Mario Odyssey model as I could, and they overlap a bunch. You could make hands like this for your own characters, though it's probably not how I'd choose to model them. Bridge these finger loops with Bridge Edge Loop. I added Bridge to my Quick Menu since I use it so often. Add four edge loops to each finger, roughly even spaced. Give the bottom of the finger's shape, match it to the reference. Select the pinky fingertip and duplicate it. Rotate it by 90 degrees on the X axis and position it to be the thumb tip. Duplicate the back loop and put it back here. Bridge these edge loops and add edge loops. Reshape to match the reference. Use proportional to reshape the fingertips. Remember that you can hide anything that you don't want to move with H and unhide with Alt-H. The hand bit is gonna be a little tricky, so let's quick make a guide object. Add a cube with a subdivision modifier, position and scale. Turn up the viewport to two, delete the back face. Delete this front face and move the bottom edge up. Add edge loops down the middle of the four sides. Select these four back corner vertices and scale down. Make sure the pivot point is median point. Scale the sides to fit the glove thing. Scale these two vertices out. Scale down the front opening and scale down this side slightly. Move stuff around so that the fingers will fit. Add an edge loop down the middle and scale it. Pull down this vertex. Shape to match the reference. Add an edge loop here. Shade smooth and do some reshaping. In edit mode still, add an 8 vertex circle to this object. Position and scale it in here. Select these four faces, extrude and scale. Delete the selected faces. Flatten out this opening. Edge slide this vertex back. And then delete this stuff. Manually connect up these two openings. Add an edge loop and reposition some stuffs. Do any fine tuning necessary to all the hand objects. Select the back loops on these four fingers. Make sure your pivot point is set to median. Extrude and scale by zero on the X axis and then pull these edges to here on the X axis. Hide the rest of the fingers and the hands. Select and merge these vertices at center. Get rid of these extra vertices. Unhide everything and rehide everything but these fingers. We only want these two loops on each finger for now, so hide everything else as well. Try to smooth things out and match the reference. Now unhide everything. The back of the thumb needs a quick adjustment. Now let's retopple this hand guide. Select and make faces like so. Put in a few edge loops. 
turn on snapping to face. Select all and recalculate normals outside with Alt N or Shift N. Turn on the hand object and snap these vertices to it. On the hand's viewport visibility, enable in front and just start making faces. Hide the connecting vertices and use proportional to shape this loop like this. Extrude a loop back on the thumb to meet the guide object, then connect it. Just keep making faces to fill in the hand shape. Turn the faces under the fingers into tries to avoid any weird face division. Filling in this final opening is the most difficult part. When you're happy with it, match the shape to the reference without snapping, and smooth out any geometry with snapping. Shift anything around that doesn't look right, fine tune your topology to your liking. Anything that's shaded or divided weird, manually turn into tries, or add more geometry. Once we're finished we won't have to adjust this anymore, so quads aren't necessary. Making stuff look nice with relatively low geometry can be challenging. The more you practice, the better. I feel like I'm improving all the time. Even so, it can be pretty difficult to decide how to do things sometimes. Just keep adjusting it until you're happy with its shape. Move these vertices to give the palm of his hand some shape. And that looks pretty good to me. Thanks for watching. Leave us a like or a comment. If you want to help the channel grow, consider sharing the video. It helps us a ton. Next time we finish modeling Mario. Thanks again. Stay safe. Love you all. Goodbye.